Day two of our new series, Spiritual Renewal, helping you connect your mind, body, and soul. You've all heard of yoga, meditation, massages to de-stress, right? But what about tapping? It's sweeping the nation as one of the best low-risk and low-cost forms of treatment for chronic pain, anxiety, and other mental illnesses. And one woman's story may make you want to try it. Watch this. Being active was always part of Adrienne Cerullo's life. She loved to run and mountain climb, and even began training for marathons back in 2012. I trained for it for three months beforehand uh, during the winter. It was a really warm winter here, so it worked out nicely. But in the last few miles of that race, she noticed a pain that was different, a pain that would not go away. I had this excruciating pain in the back of my right shoulder, and it did not let up for the entire marathon. And even after the marathon, it did not go away. It was like this constant knot that was back there. Adrian tried numerous treatments, including acupuncture, deep tissue massage, physical therapy, even having her own blood re-injected into her body, but nothing worked. I tried going gluten-free, I started making bone broth, I started making anti-inflammatory teas, anything that would try to lighten the burning and the pain that I felt. Then in early 2016, while roaming the aisles of a bookstore, Adrian discovered a book about tapping, an unorthodox method used to combat stress, anxiety, and various illnesses. I just kind of tilted my head and I was like, you know what, just grab it. I brought that book home that night and I started to read through it and started to try to figure out what it was getting at and I started tapping. But how exactly does it work? First, patients must focus solely on the negative emotion at hand. The tapping singles out the body's pressure points and induces one's energy system to create a sense of security and safety. Even though it may help some people, the effects of tapping have not been studied as much as other non-traditional treatments like acupuncture. Adrian says four years of excruciating pain were gone in just two days. I was like, oh my God, I did this twice and I don't have pain anymore and it was wonderful. Nearly two years later, Adrienne is pain-free and getting back to doing what she loves. I had tried everything else and nothing had given me relief for what is now two years. So whatever the tapping solution does to break that cycle, tapping on those meridians, releasing it, it absolutely worked. Hard to believe that four years of chronic pain were eliminated after just two sessions of tapping, all from a book she picked up at a local bookstore. But Adrian Cirillo joins me now to talk about it. Adrian, great to see you. Good to see you. Thanks. All right, so did it work? I mean, are you still pain-free? I am still pain-free, yes. It absolutely worked. What, yep. what is it, and where do you have to do it? Uh, you can do it anywhere in your house. So you don't, and then Like where on your body? body? Okay, so you have these different meridian points all over your face. There's one here, one here on your head and the karate chop point. And so you just go around and you say certain things while you're doing it. What's a meridian? Um, it's, you know, I don't know all that much about it, but in, I believe it's coming kind of comes from the Chinese um, medicine in there. Okay. Um, so I think it's where a lot of times they do acupuncture. They work it on certain points in there. Except this involves no needles. No needles And whatsoever. no trip to the doctor. None. And you can yep. do it at any time. How long yep. do you have to do the tap? It all depends. It's, it depends on every person. So um, for mine, when I did my first session, um, I did it for somewhere between 15 and 20 minutes. I just kept going with it. I oh, think, do you hit them all? Or yeah, you, yeah okay. you, keep, you keep going. You keep going. And while you're doing it, you're saying things. So you're digging deeper. I think they use the analogy of the layers of an onion. So you're peeling away. You start to dig into what are those negative emotions or what's, what's kind of causing the pain? Where is it kind of coming from? Mm -hmm. And as you tap, the way that I understand it is that you're releasing. You know, you're releasing it from your body. You're breaking the mind-body connection Two there. sessions. Two. Yeah. After you tried all those things, including the blood re-injected. Yes and pain-free, and she is not the only one. I, I've heard this from many people who really strongly believe in this tapping, which is cheap and readily available and very simple. Right after this break, we're gonna meet the man who taught Adrian how to tap away her pain. He's gonna show you too. Joined now by Adrian Cirillo and the man that changed her life, Nick Ortner. Nick's been tapping since 2003 and is the New York Times best-selling author of The Tapping Solution. Good morning again and good morning to you. Good morning. So. What is a meridian? Yeah, so we have these endpoints in our body. We have these meridian systems. And what the tapping does, really what the latest research has shown, 
Is that when Everyone's we tap, doing it in the audience right yeah, now. They're already doing, doing it. When we tap on these endpoints of meridians of our body, we send a calming signal to the amygdala in the brain. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people know that that's the fight or flight response center. That's the part of us that is activated when we're stressed, when we're anxious, when we're worried, when we're in pain. So one of the things that was happening to Adrienne is she was running that fight or flight over and over and over again, especially as she went through all the different things, like mm -hmm. everything you try, every frustration, I'm sure you felt. Acupuncture, surgery, deep tissue massage, PT, fancy mattresses, fancy chairs, yoga, Chinese herbs, psychotherapy, antidepressants, muscle relaxants, <laughs> anti-inflammatories. Right? But this yep. got yes. her done. Right? But what, and all those things are great. Like I go to a chiropractor and I love my doctor. The difference is she brought in the mind-body connection. She said, what's going on inside with this mm -hmm. pain? How do I feel about this pain? How do I feel about my life? You were saying during the commercial break, it's like you trick your brain to not sort of send that pain? I felt like that's what happened. I, I, you know, something changed in my brain and I stopped waking up with pain, like thinking I was gonna have pain that day. And I stopped going to sleep thinking I was gonna have mm -hmm. pain when I woke up the next day. It just, it stopped whatever the thoughts So were. how many points are there on your body? So really quickly, side of the hand, eyebrow, side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, under the mouth, collarbone, I don't wanna tap my mic, under the arm, and now America, on the top of the head, looking like monkeys. Does it matter which side of your body? It doesn't, Anything. you can do both sides. Does it matter which hand? Nope, and you just run through that every time, focused on the stress, the anxiety. So when Adrienne was doing the tapping, she focused on the pain, the anxiety, the stress, did the tapping, and rewired her brain. So you have to say the thing that's stressing you out? Exactly, so you acknowledge, you just acknowledge the truth. And that's one of the best parts about it too, that we say, you know, I'm angry. Like, you know when you're in that fit of anger and you just like can't let go and you wanna let go? Mm -hmm. That's your biology saying, I'm not gonna release this because if I do, I won't be safe. I was picturing myself at like a presidential debate, like in the middle, like. Yep. Yep. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> underneath the table, if that's what it takes, if that's what it takes. I mean, like, this might, be, might get awkward between you and your boss or you and your husband, you and your kids. Mm -hmm. You do it on your own time, you do it you know, in the bathroom, in the board meeting, and then you come prepared to that. So you don't react, like that's what we're doing. We're turning off that reaction. We all know what we want in our lives. We yep. know that we want more, that we want more freedom, but then we try to do it and we're like, oh, here I go, I got angry again. I got anxious again, I'm in pain again. When we do the work on our own, that's when we show up and then all of a sudden we're different in the relationship. That and boss doesn't just, trigger it's us. It's literally sending different signals into your body. All right, so listen, first of all, I want to tell you if you have pain or believe you have a medical issue, speak with your doctor, duh, right, before beginning any treatment. Uh, but as we go to break, let's just do it. Let's, all right, right, super okay. quick TV Good. version. We pick what we want to tap on. So pain, stress, whatever's going on, think about it, bring it to mind, and just say out loud, even though I have this stress. Even though I have this stress. I choose to relax now. I choose to relax now. Now flying through the points, eyebrow point, and just think about what's going on. And you work about you work on that through the commercial break. Side of the and eye. we'll be right back 